folks, welcome back to the channel. We got a little treat for you today. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be testing these two Canon automatic cameras. One's a little smaller, a little compact one here, as you can see. This is the uh, Canon SX730HS. This one's a little point and shoot that's uh, got a little collapsible lens that goes inside that retracts inside. This one's also a point and shoot, but it's got interchangeable lenses. Uh, this one is the Canon EOS M10. I've been using this one in all my vlogs and this one is my daily driver. But as you can see, they're both set up for vlogging because they both have the flip up screens here, as you can see. Let's turn them on and see what we see. So as you can see, when you turn them on, that is what we can see. That's what we're gonna compare. This one's got, this one's a newer one. This one's got a wicked, I don't know if you can see it, a 40 times optical zoom. This one doesn't. This one uh, just has a wider angle on the lens. So let's take a look and see what they are and uh, which one's better. Okay, folks, here we have them. We've got the uh, SX730 on my left here, right over here as I'm looking into it. And on the uh, right here is my Canon M10. Now, we're, what we're going to compare is from a vlogging point of view. I'm not worried about the pictures. I'm not worried about the photos or anything like that. This is strictly the video for the vlogging. They're set to 1080p, set, uh, 30 frames a second, both of these cameras. That's the most they'll do. I wish they did a little uh, more frames per second, but they don't. And um, what we're going to be doing is testing image stabilization for vlogging. As you know, we walk around and we move when we vlog. We want to see how stable the lens can be and how the, the picture is. We're going to do uh, indoor light like we are inside right now, indoor. We're going to do low light. We're going to go outside. We have to put some shoes on to go outside because it's snowing today. And then we're going to um, do, what? oh yeah, the sound. We're going to uh, check the sound, see which one's better. I'm going to, throughout this video, I'm going to be toggling back and forth from sound to sound, from camera to camera to see what they are. Uh, what else are we going to do? We're going to do the focus, see how fast the focus is. And uh, the exposure, like, as you can see where there, I've got a, over there, I've got a, an open window. And I can see already that the M10 is not as good as this uh, 730 in terms of uh, the backlight. So let's get started. We're gonna start first by doing the image stabilization. So I'm gonna walk around. Hopefully my arms don't get tired in this test. Just gonna walk around and see which one's more stable. Just walking normally in the house as you would do as you're vlogging normally. Just walking, walking. I'm also gonna do a little fast little walk here. This is strictly for image stabilization, folks. So don't worry about anything else right now. Swing it around. Almost, almost running. I'm not running, but almost running. See which one's better. Okay, so there you go. That's image stabilization. Now what we're gonna do is a backlight test. So let me go, I think I know how this is gonna be because I can see it already. I'm gonna go in front of this window here and see which one focuses and uh, lights me up quicker. I can see the 730 is doing a pretty good job. The M10, uh, my, my face is a little darker. Uh, move it around a little bit. Oh, see, see there? The SX, the 730, doing a pretty good job. The M10, I'm almost black looking here. I'll have to see what it looks in post. Oh, by the way, folks, I'm not gonna be touching up these videos at all. They're gonna be raw. I'm not gonna do any brightening or any color correction. What you see is, what you're seeing now is what they are. Okay, what else test we're gonna, oh, let's do some low light. So I'm gonna go in a low, in a low lit room and see how the cameras adjust. This is pretty low as we get. And as you can see, the 730 is brightening up pretty good. And uh, so is the um, M10, but it just took a little bit longer. So you guys be the judge, see which one's better. We're gonna come out and see which one adjusts quicker. They both seem to do a decent job there. What we're also testing too, folks, is uh, you really can't test this, but these are the default settings. Nothing's been changed on a camera, it's straight out of the box. So yeah, maybe you can change some settings on, on the box or on the cameras to make it better, but these are default settings. Nothing's been changed out of the box. Straight out of the box, default. Uh, what was, I was gonna say is this lens on the M10, it's got a, a wider angle lens as you can see. Uh, I don't, don't remember the specs. When I remember them, I'll put them in the, in the video, but I don't remember the specs off the top of my head. This one is a set one. This lens can't be changed, but it has a wicked zoom. So as you can see, my face is cropped in a little more on this one. Uh, I don't know what the depth of field is on these. We're not testing that really. That's not much of a vlogging thing. What I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna put down these cameras. Let me find a place to put them down. And I'm gonna test the uh, auto focus to see how quick the focus is on these things. So they are both down. 
Now what I'm going to do is just going to, the best way and the only way I know to do this is to just move my hand in front of the camera and take it away and see how long it takes to focus on my hand. So is it focusing on my hand there? And then I'm taking it away, see how long it takes to focus on my face. My hand again and my face. Do one more time, see how fast it takes to do it and take it away. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, go outside and test the outdoor lighting. Okay, folks, let's go outside. What we're testing now is from going inside to outside and seeing which one the exposure adjusts quicker and stuff like that. We're also going to test, because it's a little bit of a breeze out here, is the uh, wind noise from the microphones. There's a little bit of a wind today, and so we'll see how much wind noise gets picked up from it. Move around a little bit. Once again, we still have the SX730 on my left and then the uh, M10 on my right. So we're testing for wind noise and we're also seeing what it is outside here with the sunlight. We've got a, it's a pretty sunny, sunny day out today. Might not look like it here in uh, Ontario because it is winter and it is uh, December. And as you can see, we got some snow. So let's go back inside, see what the difference is from when we go from outside back inside and see how quick they adjust. Okay, see how quick they take to adjust after we move around a little bit. And there, there you go, you have it. Next test is gonna be the zoom test. This is gonna be no comparison because the 730 has a wicked zoom, but we're gonna see if it makes a noise because it's a, it's a mechanical zoom, whereas the uh, Canon, the, sorry, the M10, it's more of a manual zoom where you just turn the actual lens. So we'll see if that makes a difference. Okay, folks, back with the zoom test now. We have the SX730 on the left, just like before, and the M10 on the right. Uh, this one's gonna to test to see if there's any noise in the zooming. I know there isn't on the M10 because it's a manual zoom. You just uh, turn the lens and it zooms in and out. Whereas the SX730 has a button zoom type of thing. It's like, a, it's on top of the button and it's a mechanical zoom. So let's see if that makes a difference. We're gonna first start with the M10 because uh, it should be nice and easy. We're gonna zoom into that little toy about five feet away on the uh, arm of the chair. And as you can see, focus that is the extent of the zoom that's fully zoomed in that's fully zoomed out very very simple now looking at the uh, 730 we can zoom in the same thing I'm gonna pick it up to have it zoom in a little bit easier and see if I can zoom in on that same toy as you can see I can get a lot closer in and um, I think it's in focus maybe a little bit out as we get too close I can see that it's losing focus so I'm going to pull out a little bit to see if I can pull some focus on it. There you go. Uh, I don't know what it is, how far in it is, but as you can see, this focus, I mean, the zoom is incredible. That's it fully out. That's it fully in. <laughs> that's a little bit of digital zoom too, folks. That's not all optical. The optical goes about as much as that's the optical part of it and you can see it's not focusing too much and then that's it all the way out so that's the zoom test folks okay folks that's it that is the 730 on the left and the m10 both made by canon probably two years apart i'm guessing in terms of manufacturing there's a little more technology you can tell in the uh 730 and the m10 is a little older but it's it's a camera I've been using for the last year and it's a great camera. I just figured I'd pick up the SX730 and test it out to see how better or how worse it was. And you know, if you're in the market for a nice vlogging, a little point and shoot, very economical camera, check out these two cameras. There is the review. Make, it, make up your own mind, folks. Like I said, this has nothing to do with taking pictures or anything like that. I'm not a photographer. Never pretended to be one, never said I was one. This is strictly from a vlogging point of view. So I hope you liked it. If you guys liked this video and found it helpful, hit the like button right below. Uh, and if you want to see more videos and comparisons and stuff like that between vlogging cameras, I do them every now and then, hit the subscription button, subscribe to the channel. Okay, thanks for watching, take care. Okay, let's test out the zoom on this 730. We're zooming in, zooming in, zooming in. So we've got that uh, light pole, or that, that uh, hydro pole and the rooftop there. Let's zoom out and see where that was. That's pretty darn good.